Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial with Music Tech and Dr. E. So it's been a while since I posted some videos. I started a new job doing some different stuff, but I'm excited to be back and providing you with some new information that I have learned along the way. So today we are going to look at how to strip silence out of an audio clip. Um, this I'm going to demonstrate today on a snare drum recording that has a super amount of bleed from the other drums and cymbals and stuff on the drum kit. So we're going to take that and try to strip it out so we don't have the bleed and we just have the functional snare drum sound. And I know that you can think of many other ways that you would apply this idea across your um, recordings and scenarios. You might use a noise gate to do something like this or you could use this function in Logic. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look right quick at what we have here inside Logic. And this is a snare drum recording. I'm just going to give you a little sample of what we're talking about. Now you can see there are clear transient markers here that um, are allowing us to get a good idea of exactly where those snare hits are. But there's also a ton of stuff that happens in between here that is not the information that we want. So we want to strip all that out of this recording. And what we're going to do in order to do that is click on the recording, come up here to functions. Now, by the way, quick side note. You need to make sure that you have all of your advanced options on. If you don't do that, go check out my other YouTube video on your advanced audio settings and make sure that all the advanced options in Logic are on. That's important so that you'll see this option. And it's called Remove Silence from Audio Region. And when you click that, it brings up this. Now, I think it defaults to like negative 24. So what you're going to see here is that it is about to break this one audio region up into 72 audio regions. Now let's just for kicks and giggles go ahead and select this and you'll see boom it's there. Now this is what we have. Yeah that's not exactly what we're shooting for so I'm going to undo that and again go into functions uh, remove silence. So the threshold is the point at which any audio signal that crosses that threshold is going to be left in. So you're seeing everything that crosses the negative 25 dB threshold. So we're going to increase that threshold and begin to get rid of stuff until we just isolate it down to the basic snare hits. Yep, we got just about all of it right there at negative nine, I think. So now you can see all that's left are these snare hits. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay. And we're left with 18 regions. So the sound that we have now is this. So now we have only snare hits, which is great for what we need it to do in this function. So um, now we're going to uh, see that that's a little abrupt. That shoo, shoo, it, you're not hearing all of the snare drum hits. So I'm going to undo that one more time. That's command Z to undo. We're going to go back in and look at a few of the other um, options that we have. So. The minimum time to accept a silence is 0.1 seconds. So any sound that's up above the threshold for 0.1 seconds is going to qualify. And all our sounds have qualified. But it's the pre-attack and post-attack that we want to do. So we're going to increase. Whoa, not that much. I'm going to grab the middle number. And just increase the pre-attack time just a little bit. And then I'm going to go in and increase the post-attack time. Now you see that it's lengthening the right edge of these regions. So we want to get that full uh, drum sound, snare sound out of there. So I'm just trying to find the point at where we get a good amount of sound. And we give ourselves a little bit of leeway on the front end of this as well. So now I'm going to hit OK. 
and they're going to have a slightly different divide here, but let's listen to that. So you hear there are a few cymbal sounds that get in there now. I actually want to do this one more time and give us a little bit more silence at the end, and I'm going to show you why here in just a second. So just want to make sure we get the full drum sound in there. So now we've got a little bit more tag. This is what we're left with. Okay, so like there's one here that might need a little edit off from the beginning. You actually heard the kick drum um, come into that one. So you might want to go in and be like, hey, let's get rid of, whoa, not that. You just selected them all. Get rid of that. There you go. Now, with all of them selected, Here's how we're going to tailor this to make sure we don't have any weird clicks and pops. We're going to come up here to our secondary tool selector and select the fade tool. Now all the clips are selected, so if we hold command, you'll notice that our cursor pointer changes into this little arrow line. Grab, slide in. Now we're putting a fade at the beginning and the end of each clip. So it's added a fade in and a fade out to each clip. So now we have a better, uh, smoother way in and out of these clips. That's why I like to leave myself a good amount of pre and post attack time on this. And this is what we're left with. So, there we have removed the silence and we've left ourselves with the essential snare drum sound, which is what we were shooting for, which is extremely important to be able to get that sound and make it specific. So you blend this in with a set of overheads and you've got the ability to really control the amount of punch you're getting out of the snare drum and everything like that. I'm sure you can find many, many uses for this in both vocals and instrumental recordings. Hope you found it helpful. If you did, click the thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Hope you have a great day. This has been more Music Tech with Dr. E, helping bring your music to life.